Hello, hello everybody, it's me, Cooper, and guess what? We beat Merrick, which means we're moving on to the next opponent, Shoddy. This guy, wow, he looks really evil in this scene for some reason. This guy gave us the, one of the hardest fights of our career. There was only one person who gave us a harder fight than Shoddy, so I am pretty excited to see how he will uh, perform against us. He might be amazing, he might be terrible. Either way, I will... Uh, I will take him on with my might, and I will do what is right. He's got the Millennium Key, and I have a lot of water monsters. But he's using a dark deck, which luckily my Blue Eyes has been revived. So I can use Blue Eyes now. And this map seems interesting. Okay. There's a dragon in there. To be able to duel you again. I can sense a greater force at work. Really? Is that so? I will put you to the final test. Let us see if you can pass it. I will pass Prepare it. Prepare yourself, Yugi. Prepare yourself, Shoddy. It's time to duel, Shoddy. Alright, guys. Let's see if we can beat him. The last time we fought him, it was down to the wire. Literally, like, my symbol was one attack away from death. This time, I'm going all in. Oh, he's not showing what he wants, damn it. Oh, wow, I just guessed right. Good. Eh, it looks like I'm going first. Oh! I thought he'd be at the top of the map, and I'd be at the bottom, but instead, it's a left and right deal. Dark, dark, dark. Where's your lightning monsters? Fire. Dark. Lightning, there it is. Lightning, yep. He's gotta have something to beat Blue Eyes. I like that he has a fire monster. That way, when I pick my water monsters, it's like I'm, I have a reason to. It's not just because they have the best, you know, stats in the game. Um, Blue Eyes is coming, no matter what. High Tyke Yojin. He's costing a lot, but he's coming. Um, Great White, I like you too. You come. Uh, Wing Guardian, you've been good as a sniper. You come. Summon Skull did good last fight, but it's fine. Uh, two Ed would do good on this map, so that's fine. He can come. This map's all about darkness, so I should bring dark monsters. Um, let's see. I'll bring... You, you, and you. <laughs> there we go, three dark monsters right there. This might not be a good idea. It'll be fine, alright. Yeah, just so I actually have all the monsters this time. Uh, I'm gonna put my symbol... Uh, ...behind this barrier, somewhere where they can't reach us. And now I'm going to place my monsters. Um, I'm going to have Blue Eyes take the front lines. I want to see... This map is kind of just go at each other. It's not really easy to be defensive here. There's nowhere to hide. It's it's kind of interesting. What is this FD for capsule monsters? Alright, final destination for those of you that don't play video games. Uh, yeah, high tide. Let's get great white. Yep. All our boss monsters standing next to each other. I want the front line to be stacked with boss monsters. Um, you go here. Front line is stacked. Guardian, you're going to watch our backs. Um, or, can you stand on these? Maybe. Uh, you stand over here, actually. And then, leg, you stand right here. And then, arm, you stand in the back. The Exodia pieces are here, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I haven't decided. You stand right here. Our, our, this fight, I plan on laying the water monsters, and Blue Eyes do most of the work, since, uh, you know, the map is a dark map where our Blue Eyes does a lot of damage. Granted, we probably get nerfed here, but it's, it's fine. Time to start. So, Blue Eyes still gives me the most, right? 148. 100. Nice. 104. Nice. You guys are doing great. All right. How much do you cost? 147, 138. Yeah, just get the 147. Who cares? No one cares. And there we go. So he didn't summon you know, but also eight monsters. Honed throughout millenniums of history. All right, all right. So he didn't summon eight monsters, which means some of these are probably really high power. Whoa, what is that? Is that Ushioni? It could be. That's a Karibo. Okay, that's tactical. Let's see, we got Needle Ball, that's not scary. I will use all my strength to defeat 
Alright, let me get High Tide out. Let me see where Blue Eyes is on this map. Negative what? Negative 31! What if he was here? Ooh, you might not be able to step on those. Uh-oh. Okay, so this map is really not a Blue Eyes friendly map, which makes sense, but... Not something I was hoping for. Alright, gimme, give gimme give you guys. Great Whites, take your first steps. I don't need to summon many things this turn, it's fine. Yeah. I want to put pressure on the map, so I'm gonna start moving. What the fuck is that thing? No, seriously, what is that? Your fire monster is Taiho number two, it looks like. Mega Thunderball. His lightning monsters so far just seem weak. That has to be Ushioni, but he moves a lot, but he has no attack range. I feel like attack range is more important than movement in some cases. Like, Barrel Dragon with his two movement but three attack range is pretty damn good, you gotta admit. Okay. I'm willing to summon these pieces. Are we not getting any more AP? Oh, it's a low map! Oh, shit. On this map, you do not get to use a lot of AP. So the fact that I picked a lot of boss monsters rather than low-level monsters might cost me. You are AP starved on this map. Interesting. Really interesting. Ushioni continues his march. Karibo's coming from the side. Okay, so I did bring some low-level monsters, but they're not my focus. They are definitely not my focus. So this Ushioni, right? It is Ushioni. Is level 2, has a lot of HP. 1, 2, 3. So if I move my 2 out of King Rex, it'll stop him from moving, or he'll decide to move to the side where Blue Eyes is. Which is also a bad play. 1, 2, 3. High Tide. Get closer. Karibo, on the other hand, can only move 2, right? 1, 2. Yeah, he's not on the way yet. What is this? Oh, Terra the Terrible. I remember you. Alright, Terra the Terrible's here. This is Taiho number 2, right? Yep, Taiho number 2 is a fire monster. Not good attacker range. Okay, that's like Petite Moth right there. Mega Thunderball, not bad. This guy, not bad either. What is this? Whoa, he's got a Thunder Dragon. Okay, that's an actually good light monster. We gotta watch out for that one. So I can move my four boss monsters. That is something I can do. Or I could start positioning my sniper. Which, sadly, I have to position him differently. Oh, he likes this map. Wind is good here. And then you'll be summoned too. So it doesn't matter. All these pieces of Exodia, they're staying in the back. If I can win this with just the bosses, I will. Despite the fact that he has a Thunder Dragon, which could be problematic. And the other monsters I don't really care for. They're fine. Ushioni is the one that I'm like, oh damn, that must be like his boss. Ushioni's definitely his boss. It's not Terror the Terrible, I hope not. Oh wow, he's willing to die. He sends Ushioni in to die. And I'm not joking, I don't think he survives. Oh. Uh-oh. What's going on now? Shoddy? What the hell? Do what? what the, why the music change? What the hell's going? Why do I hear boss music? Where'd the dragon go? It's there, but I can't see it. Okay, whatever. The map's just trying to distract you. You have an advantage right now. Use it. I can go after Kari- Oh, no attack or defense drop for water monsters. Go after Karibo, not actually- Okay, I'm joking, wait. I, uh, how much does Ushioni take? He has a lot of HP. Alright. Before moving high tide, Blue Eyes, did you get an even bigger debuff, or is it the same? Nah, it's the same. Alright. Start attacking this guy with super effective damage, yeah. Now, dark monsters are good on earth monsters, so I gotta be careful. Great White, I know you're not much of a damage dealer, but I want to see how much you can do. Nine. Okay. We'll make do. It's alright, Great White. High tie. Oh, cost too much. Yep, the map cost me. I did say it would do that, and it did it. Okay. The map costs me too much to move three monsters. I can only move two if I choose Blue Eyes. And yeah, I can move these little pieces, but they don't matter. Alright, so, I, heard, I hear boss music, and the fact that it's such a low AP map has put me in an extremely bad spot. He's going after Blue Eyes, despite the fact that I resist- You know what? It's the map that gives him an advantage. Alright, so he still does 100 to Blue Eyes because of the map. It's like, yay, I picked a super effective. Oh no, the map ruined it. 
Shioni. Creepy back, dude. Creepy back. Cool monster. Really fun to fuse in Forbidden Memories. It was like, when I was a kid and I fused it for the, fuse the first time by accident, I was like, Holy crap, a monster that can beat Mystical Sand! And it mattered back then, because I was always stuck on, like, the early game. So, I was, the hardest monster I had to fight was, like, 2100, like, Black Dragon, Jungle King, or uh, Mystic Stand, and stuff like that. So, yeah, his low-cost monsters are really benefiting him right now. Luckily for me, I have my own benefits. Um, Blue Eyes, especially. Blue Eyes, right now, I want to move you forward. However, Thunderbolt, hold up, Thunderbolt. If I move you forward, he hits you. Yeah. So if I go for Karibo, I get hit. I don't like it. Ushioni's the target. Kill Ushioni, that's actually really good for us. Get rid of it. We need to move two out of King Rex in a position where he could... Uh, ah, Yugi. Excellent strategy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, we need to move two out of King Rex in a position where he could pressure um, the other monsters. The problem is, I want to pressure the light monster, but or the lightning monster, but I'm letting myself get hit by Karibo, which does super effective damage, which is not what we wanted. And because I used blue eyes that turn, I can't move my water pieces, but I guess they're fine in the back for now. Plus, if he moves Karibo where I think he is, I can hit him with high tide Gyojin and blue eyes for game uh, on that monster. There's still the other ones. Thunderball moves. I was right. Okay, that does no damage. Cause, ooh, diz what the fuck? Still does 90 to us? This map must give him a big buff. Because that is not very effective, and we have a lot of HP. Alright, maybe we don't have a lot of defense. Maybe we're just HP. Dark on light, it shouldn't do much. The map gives him a buff, so it, it does more than you think. Okay, 89. Does Kriva go after Blue Eyes instead? Nope, okay. Goes for Super... Oh! Holy shit. Alright, very, very risky play that did not pay off. That did not pay off. All right. With the low AP of this map, I'm in trouble. And he had enough to summon Thunder Dragon and still move his Tyhone. Interesting. Well, hello there. I guess you're a lot... Oh, God. Does that create darkness? All my dark pieces are in the back right now. They're not... Oh, wait. That does damage? Uh-oh. He lived. Oh, thank God. Wait, what about... Ah, what about his monsters? Why am I taking all the damage? There we go. That's right. Hit tear... Oh, shit. They're immune to dark. That dragon is going to ruin my monsters. Two head is already ruined, technically, but I can stomp him. I'm joking. All right. Um, two head plus 23 on this map. Terror the Terrible is probably the bigger threat than Karibo. Yeah, but Karibo's farther forward, so let's not consider that. Let's let's see. Yeah, Karibo has less HP in the end, so if we could deal with him, why not deal with him? Yeah, despite him uh, resisting us, we do a lot. Nice. I I'm willing to sacrifice two, uh, two headed King Rax. He's fun, but he's dead. Great White, how much can you do if I asked you? You can kill it. Alright, kill it. Just kill it. Alright. High Tide. It's high time you actually did something. Yep, let's plus 19 on this map. That's not bad, actually. 118 damage. That's not bad, actually. Problem is, I think Blue Eyes is dead. Or not. No, I don't think Blue Eyes is dead. Blue Eyes is fine. Unless that dragon hits us every turn, then we're in trouble. He's... This is difficult. You got me in a you got me in a bind here. Okay, he's going after High Tide, which that's my tank, so I'm expecting. You know what? This these characters are starting to make me not look like a tank. I mean, 36 is like actually no damage, but. You know what I mean, compared to what I've been taking. Even though it's not very effective damage, the map lets him kill me. Okay. Which means Terra can now choose High Tide as a target. Yeah, Thunderball getting a level up ain't good for me. That's for damn sure. High Tide takes the damage for me. Alright. And Thunder Drive. Ooh, it has a lot of movement. Tyhone's on the way, too. You'd think it had two attack range, at least, being a dragon, but no, it doesn't. All right, Great Whites. It's weird, but I need you to kill Terra for me. Terra's giving us some trouble. All right, Terra has no defenses. We can get him. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you trying to end the turn? Thank you very much. We're not doing that. Mega Thunderball could move here, but then he can't hit me. This guy can't... Ooh, wait a minute. Wait, he attacks only... Yeah, okay, we're fine. Blue Eyes can't be hit by him. As long as I don't move Blue Eyes. Terra's dead. They got rid of most of the Dark Monsters. There's still the Stragglers, but they're all weak. That little Spike Ball who's hitting High Tide. That's the only one getting a buff from this map. And I can finally move my Sniper since everyone else is dead. But my Sniper is not going to do much in this fight, is he? Right, just keep moving him. I'll try to get him to a spot where he could do something. Blue Eyes couldn't move or he'd be dead. Unless I mispositioned him. Alright, High Tide's still the target. High Tide still takes damage. He's fine. He takes all those hits. That Fire Monster's right in front of two Water Monsters, so we'll kill him if he moves for us. He fell back instead. Not what I was expecting. Thunder Dragon's coming in. That's the one thing I gotta worry about. He fell back, which I should have expected. Being a Fire Monster. Oh! Wait, what? He attacked over there instead of over here. What kind of attack was that? I guess I got lucky. 40 damage! Holy crap! Yeah! Was it still darkness? I guess? It didn't now hit the Thunder the Dragon. Alright, well, we're doing good. We're doing really good, Yugi. Um, can't go after any of his monsters, but we're doing good. Oh, wait, what? All of a sudden, water's not doing good on the map. Does he change the map constantly? Yeah, our water monsters aren't doing too good anymore. Alright, so if I were to go here and attack your last dark monster, how much would I do? 85 damage. Not what I like to see. Not what I like to see. You. One, two. High tide stopping you from moving. Blue eyes. One, two, three. If I go for the super effective damage, you're going to die to Thunderball. But we kill the Needle Ball. Question is, am I willing to sacrifice blue eyes? Answer? I don't think I am. Let's see. One, two, one, two. Blue Eyes is actually safe in that position for now. High Tide Gyojin. Yeah, Blue Eyes is safe. Uh, High Tide Gyojin, I gotta... I gotta use you to kill that dark monster since my other guy can't. Like, literally can't. Blue Eyes can't move and Great White is in a bad spot. But we should plan for Thunder Dragon. That's the one monster we're not really thinking about. One, two, three. He can hit Great White right now. So I can block his movement, which will take him longer to come get us. Or I can g just go after the boss and then he gets behind me. I think I'll block his movement for now. And then I'll get my sniper closer, just in case that guy does decide to move forward. Alright, Blue Eyes is safe for now. And he's still close up front, so it looks like I'm baiting them towards me. Okay, he goes over there to hit my guy. High Tide's been taking a lot of damage. Why is it more damage all of a sudden? Is the map getting even dark? Oh, it's I did notice I was 13 less. Even though my defenses didn't go down, the dark monsters must have gone stronger. Alright, Great White, how much do you take? 10. Yep, you're still amazing. Plus, that's a thunder monster. It's not getting buffed by the map, probably. And the dragon runs away, realizes what I'm doing. Okay, tie home body blocks. Interesting. Alright, so that dark monster needs to die. Once we kill the last dark monster, no more monsters are buffed on the map. What if I kill the dark monster? Let's see. This guy, he wants to attack right here to kill my, to kill my blue eyes. That's just part of his plan. So the Thunder Monster has to die before the Dark Monster, which means High Tide's HP has to keep falling. Oh, we killed it. Never mind. We're good. All plans have been reset. We're fine. That Thunderball had no HP left after all the burn damage he took from the map. He took like 80 burn from the map. All right, Wing Gu Guardian Dragon of the Fortress. Thank you. Which means I actually could consider using Blue Eyes to kill this piece. Oh, wait, but if I go with Blue Eyes, he stands right here. Let me guess. One, two, three. Actually, he gets blocked. If I do that with Blue Eyes, it blocks Thunder Dragon. Although I am negative 16 attack now. And it still does a god tier amount of damage. Problem is, I did this, but I didn't think about doing damage after the fact. Blue Eyes dies. I forgot. I can't. It cost me too much to do that. Blue Eyes, I just killed Blue Eyes. Whoops. 
unless there's a chance that another sniper will be born. There's no other sniper. Damn it, he lives barely. I, I cost myself blue eyes. Well, that happens. No blue eyes for the final fight. Would have probably liked to have that. You kill you. Guaranteed kill. And then you pieces can decide what you want to do after the fact. Three, one, two. He's coming after Wing Guardian. I'm actually in a bad position where I could lose more than what I just said. Blue eyes and two out of King Rex dying is big. Oh. He doesn't want blue eyes. He wants Wing Guardian. Oh, wow. Wing Guardian barely survives the attack, which means blue eyes survives the turn. All right. Blue eyes survives I the turn. I own moves, which is fine. Thunder Dragon's blocked, as we thought. Thunder Dragon might try to go around. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, that's why he didn't care. Lightning attack? What the hell? Wait. Is that going to hit his monster, too, or is it just mine? Okay, Exodia piece gets hit. Don't have a lot of HP to move uh, to mess around with. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Sucks, but it's fine. Now that it's lightning, does that mean lightning got buffed and it's not dark anymore? Let's see. Maybe 16 still feels bad for us. Let's see him. One, two, three, one, two. Can't reach Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes can go chase down the boss piece rather than take any more damage. I know, I know. It's like, but Cooper, now you just cost yourself a bunch of AP on an AP starved map. Shut up. I don't care. I tie, get yourself a kill because I like you. Great White, get ready. Thunder Dragon's about to be your best friend. So Thunder Dragon, one, oh, sorry. One, nope, all right, here, I'll do it the slow way. One, two, three. Can't hit me, actually. One, two, one, two. Yep, Great White's gonna get hit. All right, since Great White's gonna get hit, I can move, oh, wait, he can't stand there. I didn't realize that. One, two, he can't stand there. Three, he can stand here. Which means I wanna stand right here. All right. I got blue eyes going after his piece. Oh, he could fall back, actually. And then chase down my blue eyes, which actually would be smarter. Especially since it looks like electric monsters just got buffed. Or not move a single piece at all. He decides to move absolutely nothing. What, does moving your symbol cost you your turn on this map? At this point, I'd believe anything. Alright, high tide. You've taken a lot of damage. Let's maybe give you a break. And so is Wing Guardian. Great White, with his positioning, let's see. One, two, three. Can't kill my Great White. And then this piece of Exodia stays. Let's get the other pieces in a position where if that freaking dragon, Thunder Dragon, one, two, three, decides to move, we got him already. Yeah, rather than moving my other pieces. I want that dra I, I want that dragon to know what we'll do to him if he thinks about it. This guy cannot move backwards that far, so I can move high tide instead. High tide's tanky enough to be moved. I just got to be careful with the freaking breath. Oh, I probably should have moved. That breath is probably still going to come down at some point. I need to get my monsters out of the z the attack zone. Oh, you better run. I'm coming. Oh, you're dead. You're a fire monster. Oh, you're a problem. Oh, it still attacks again? Okay, it's becoming a little too frequent. This is doing a lot of damage to me. The map damage is more deadly than this guy's damage. Ugh, high tide's really low. Great White, how are we doing? Actually, really high. You're dead. You're, you're just straight up dead. I got very unlucky with you. Okay, I should have moved him out of the range. Didn't realize it was going to attack so frequently. Which means the next attack is coming after Blue Eyes, most likely. Not like it matters. Blue Eyes is already in danger. If I white lightning him, how much? 101? Not really great. High Tide? I'm pretty sure you can't kill Tide in one hit. Even with super effective damage. It's close. It is close. I'll give you that much credit, but I was, in I was correct. The problem is we need to kill Thunder Dragon. That's the biggest threat to our team. And if Thunder Dragon decides to move... God damn it, controller. If he decides to move one, two, three, he can't hit me. Blue Eyes is in perfect, uh, perfect spot right now, where he cannot be hit. 
And I will kill Taiho in this turn, because why the hell not? Looks like for this battle, we're not going after the symbol because we're losing too many uh, pieces to the map. All right, you still have 100 HP left, so if the map decides to attack you, you'll take it. I've already lost a lot of good pieces. Two Head and Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress is a very big loss. But if I lose Blue Eyes on top of that, then my, my final fight will be impossible. Shoddy, you're making the last fight impossible. Please stop. And please tell that dragon to stop doing what it's doing. Going after High Tide, how much? Ooh, 41 damage. God damn. He was supposed to do 193, so our defense is really kicked in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, now the dragon decides to give us a little bit of a break? Come on, game. You dick. Alright, luckily for me, because of his movement, I got him with two monsters. Although, the dragon's probably going to aim in this direction. But if I move forward, he can't go after Blue Eyes, so it's fine. Sadly, he positioned himself in a way where Blue Eyes is the next target. It's not... It's not safe, which means I have to run for my dear life. Oh my god, this map is destroying me, stats-wise. Yes, I can't attack with High Tide, but High Tide survives the attack. Um, Let's see. This guy could decide to move this direction and attack my piece of Exodia instead, and that would be nice if he did that. So let's see if he does that instead. I'm only moving my blue eyes expecting the dragon to shoot at me. And because Thunder Dragon could have hit me if he wanted to. I did bait him. Okay. I live too. Okay. Only good. That was only a good play. No problems there. Literally, unless the dragon attacks middle twice, which would be really stupid. It's going to attack, isn't it? God damn it. Please don't attack middle twice. All right. He's on right now. So I think I did the right thing moving blue eyes and understanding Great White was going to take damage. All right, 40, but Great White's a monster. He's he's the only one still with good HP on the team. This map keeps changing on us. All right, you're basically gonna die. I want you to know that. I want you to hear it from me, though, that you're gonna die. Before you die, hit that Thunder Dragon as hard as you goddamn can. We're trying to win the fight right now. 60 damage. We got Thunder Dragon really low. We even leveled up our Exodia piece, which is very nice. Who even knew we were going to use these today and actually get use out of them? High Tide, can you win us the fight? Ha <sighs> ha, you bitch! It just barely survives! Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. 11 HP, huh? Just kidding. Just couldn't let me kill you. I blocked off two of his movements. He can only move forward. So if he were to move right, he can hide in that corner. Do any of my pieces have that quarter locked? No, this piece would not be able to hit him. Although if I moved here, I would be able to hit him. Okay, good. This will lock that corner down. This piece kind of sucks, honestly. This piece. Go fall back and be with our, our symbol, honestly. I don't need you over here. 160, Great White. Uh, no, I like that you're blocking his backward advance. That's kind of nice. All right, we're going to end our turn like that. We did everything we could, okay? We did everything. He could attack High Tide Gyojin if he feels like it, or he could fall all the way forward trying to hit my... Okay, no, he can't. Actually, we blocked him completely. He couldn't move at all. 10 damage! The map finally lost. Okay, he finally lost the map advantage. Thank God. Oh, and the map didn't decide to try and attack me. Isn't that nice? All right. Hey, Exodia piece, you want to try and get some experience? You can't. All right, good for you. Good for you. High Tide, you know what? I think you deserve the experience. You took a lot of damage. But we need Great White to move the f*** out of your way. All right, Great White, fall back. I know you could be the one to get the kill, but screw it. We're going to let High Tide do it. He's the one that really needs the experience. He's the one taking all the damage this fight. All right. At two losses, losing two very important monsters, we still beat Shoddy. This will finish you. And by defeating Shoddy, oh, we've unlocked the final enemy. That was a fight. That was a freaking fight. Thunder Dragon is I dead. I will admit, that was incredible, Yugi. And you know that was a hard fight because I didn't just go for the symbol like I did with Merrick. Merrick was so easy. The Shizu, I went for the symbol too, but that was more tactical. She gave me a she gave me a hard fight. Pegasus was a good fight. I think Merrick was the easiest so far. 
Shoddy was problematic. He put so many of my monsters low. You have overcome my test. You have completely defeated me. Thank you. It's your dragon that got me, dude. Shoddy. I cannot wait to duel you again in the future. Until then, farewell. Farewell, Shoddy. Good fight. Goodbye. All right, 12 experience. Hey, I think I got a level on high tide if we got enough experience at the end of the battle. Quick fight, but that fight had high cost. We lost a lot of HP in the fight. Luckily, we didn't lose the monsters that lost the HP. So, we got a symbol buff. Our symbol is now max level. We got some level ups for Exodia pieces, which is nice. Uh, max level, we can up its HP stat now. Yay. All right. The monster has reached the max level, unable to do a level up. What do you mean? All right. Uh, yay. Oh, yeah, this one matters. Defense up. The cost keeps going up. It, it's more and more expensive, but I love them. A uh, piece of Exodia. Good for you. And I'm going to get Ushioni for sure. That card was cool. Um, Thunder Dragon for sure. And funny enough, I want Taihon number two. I don't know why. I just want it. I don't want Terror the Terrible. All right, guys. We have defeated Shoddy. He was the second strongest opponent in that area four that where we almost lost. Here, he was a very strong opponent. But there was one person stronger than Shoddy in area four. One person that brought us to the edge of death. And I think it's about time we meet them again. I'll see you all in the final episode. Please remember to like and subscribe and get ready. It's going to be great.